Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 19 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I've got some plans. So there's a couple things I want to do next. Uh, first off, I'd like to get myself a little bit better movement speed and a couple really useful tools from a favorite mod of mine, one that's been around forever. Uh, and there's a handful of tools in this mod that you just can't get anywhere else. Like, there's there's cool stuff that this mod adds that no other mod has the capability to do. And the mod I'm talking about, of course, is Batania. Um, Batania has some really nice and cool features. One of the best things that they have, one of the best things that they have, in my opinion, is the Horn of the Wild. Because it will just obliterate any flowers or, or, or anything else like that. Um, it also has a really nice magnet, and if we look through our, our list of magnets in JEI, we can see we have a couple. We've got the, the Batania magnet, and we've got Simple magnets, and then we've got the magnet from Thermal. Um, you know, Thermal's magnet is nice, but it requires power, and you have to keep recharging it. Simple magnet, not bad. Um, ring of magnetization, also nice. So I think, I think what I want to do today, jump into Batania. I'm not going to spend a lot of episodes on Batania because I know a lot of you guys have seen it before and I know a lot of you guys are like, we've seen Batania, Dyer, we know how it works. Well, I'm going to get some basics up and running just so I can get some of my favorite items from it. And then I want to move on to a tree farm. Uh, and I'm probably going to do the tree farm with Create. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to do like a rotating tree farm or like a uh, minecart based tree farm. I'll kind of figure that out as we go. But I want to use, uh, I want to get into Create nice and early on because Create has some really cool stuff. Um, I would like to get uh, the Create, um, a whole bunch of things from Create, honestly. So I want to get that system up and running. I have to figure out where I'm going to place that. So because Batania is magic based, I thought we'd, uh, we'd, we'd build up our magical based tower here. And what I thought might be cool would be to basically have a theme for each level. So I'm going to have an elevator in here, right? Uh, either an elevator or a, a one of these dudes, a travel anchor that leads up to the top. But I want the elevator, like I want you to go up, and then like you're in you're 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 in the Batania themed area, and it'll be like more you know mossy and green and like you know planty looking. Does that sound cool? Might be cool. So let's get started with Batania today. Get the basics up and running, then work towards uh, more cooler stuff. That's not what I wanted to do. Don't do that. Travel anchor home base. So let's uh, let's let's get started, right? So Batania is pretty sweet, awesome, awesome mod. Uh, I'm gonna get myself a handful of bone meal, and I'm gonna do that by pulverizing a little bit of bone. Just makes it a little bit more bone meal per bone equivalents, right? And then uh, we want to do some floral fertilizer. So to make that stuff, this is kind of like your first step into the mod. Uh, we're gonna need some dye. Uh, so Red dye is not a bad place to start with this, for sure. Um, let's be ready to build out here. And if you want to snag yourself a few of these, that would be cool. Does Pulverizer have like an, uh, a thing for this? Centrifugal Separator does. Phytogenic Insulator does. Eh, I guess that's good enough. We'll just do this then. Boom. And then if we wanted Floral Fertilizer, it's as easy as doing this. Now you can find a bunch of, uh, wow, was that it? Oh man, I thought I'd have more than that. Um, let's do, uh, you know what? You need a lot more dye than you need bone meal. So what you could also do is just that. That's also another option, right? Uh, you could use the bone meal for the dye. It doesn't super matter. That might be, might be enough, might be enough. Once you've got enough of each flower type, we're cool. Uh, now, is there a pouch still? I think there's a flower pouch from Batania. All we need is one petal. And we might have some batania e type stuff in here somewhere. Um, did we not find any flowers or floral things? Eh, we got a mystical magenta flower. That'll be enough. That'll be enough to make our flower pouch, which is super nice. So here's the deal. Flower pouches can hold flowers. Um, you can see you can hold a lot of flowers, you know, pretty good. Um, there's a bunch of flowers available in Batania, one for each color of the Minecraft rainbow, so 16 in total. When you use flower, floral fertilizer on grass, bing, it generally makes about two to four, it looks like, flowers. Um, so you have a, a miscellaneous random chance to get them. Now, the good news is, is once you have a particular color of flower, it's very easy to get the rest. I 
Everybody cross your fingers. But I didn't see any white. Did you guys see any white ones? Am I crazy or did I just get like super unlucky and the flower that I need the most to start is not in here? Let's see, how do we make out? Yeah, no whites and yep. Literally the only flower we didn't get is the one that we need the most. So, uh, looks like we have some more bone mealing to make happen. Not the end of the world per se, but you know, just like, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the kind of week we've been having. Do we have like a bunch of dandelions in here? We do. So what I could do. And then just a smidge more of the stuff. That's right, it's a it's a five part recipe, not four. And then we'll see how this works out. You are killing me, Smalls. How is it possible that we have no white Batania flowers at this point? Like that's just that's just statistically unlikely. That is statistically unlikely. Uh, Bueller? Like that, that's actually super weird. I almost wonder if that's a bug. Because, uh, because that is, that is super statistically unlikely at this point. I've gotten so many of every flower type except the one that I need, which is the first white one. Let me, um, do a little bit more off camera doing this because now it's going to get boring if you guys just keep watching me do this. Um, but yeah, we have like 10 of each except whites. We got none of. I'm going to try one more time and then I'm going to look around in the world for any whites. And then I'm going to check the Batania GitHub and see if that's a bug because it smells like a bug. All right. Third time's the charm, it looks like, because I finally got some whites. So maybe not a bug, maybe just really bad RNG on my part. I just got really unlucky. But this third batch of floral fertilizer absolutely gave me quite a few of the white flowers, which is what we need to get started. Sweet. All right. Now, now what we can do is put away that and show you guys the next piece of this puzzle. So the cool thing about this, and we're going to need some shears, which I'm pretty sure I have on me, um, but we can take these mystical flowers and turn them into petals like so. You can plant the petals on the ground, grow them with bone meal, and then the resulting items need to be sheared, and then you get um, the tall version of that flower. And the tall version of that flower gives you four petals each. So notice how I now have 16. The only downside is that it's a little tricky to see where these things are, but if you watch the bounding box, you can kind of catch it. Sweet. And then, ta-da! How cool is that? All right, nice. Now, the next thing we're going to need to get this guy cooking, uh, we're going to need some more bone meal, so I'm going to cook that up because I know we're going to want uh, some more different colors, right? We're going to need different color petals make different magical items. Uh, so the next thing we're going to want to get, besides our mystical light flower, is the petal apothecary. Easy peasy. Done. Done. Project complete. Uh, we're also going to need a mana spreader and a mana pool, both of which need the petal apothecary before we can really get going. Uh, but we are also going to need uh, some water, which I'm going to sleep through the night just because it's getting dark out. We're going to get some water, and we're also going to need some uh, vanilla wheat seeds. Cool. And we're going to start out here, but then we're going to rapidly build up my tower in a minute. But let me get a couple things ready. Um, so what we're going to want to do is put water in there. And then a bunch of flowers from Batania have a bunch of crafting recipes. Most of them are in here. There's a bunch of different kinds of uh, flowers that you can get. Some of them... Most of them just do something interesting, right? Some of them uh, generate mana, and some of them use mana to do things. Uh, and some of them don't use mana at all. But the first one we want is the pure daisy. It just needs four 
white petals. And you can see that when you mouse over it, it shows you the, hey, you're gonna get a pure daisy. And then just drop some heat seeds in there and boom, first pure daisy, nice. And then we can do the same here again. Oh, by the way, I think you can right click with an empty hand, boom. And it'll place the last recipe you put in there. So now we've got two pure daisies, awesome. Now what I wanna do is get some smooth stone. If we don't have any handy, I have a little bit, but I should probably get more. So let's get you out and we're gonna do this. And then we're also gonna want some wood. Uh, I have some oak logs. I could always use more, but it's all good. And then you're ready to go. Get that started. So I'm just gonna start over here on the side of my house. But then, like I said, we're gonna rapidly move this into the tower. I'm just starting it here so you guys can see how everything works, okay? So the pure daisies, you surround with wood and stone. Okay, and what'll happen is after one minute, the pure daisy will turn the wood into batania wood and the stone into batania stone. Uh, it's called living wood and living stone and it's used for some of the recipes in here. So the mana spreader you can see here needs some living wood. Uh, and the mana pool needs some living rock. So that'll be cool. And we can look into automating that uh, at some point. Maybe. We'll see. I wonder if Fell works on this. Yep, it totally does. Sweet. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's what happened. The, the mystical flower did its thing. Uh, and now we've got, you know, our first couple little bits of uh, useful stuff. Now I know I need some gold. And what we're looking to make, our first mana pool and our first mana spreader. Nice, looking good. Gold can go back away and everybody's happy. Uh, the other thing we're gonna wanna make now is an endo flame. That's gonna require brown petals, red petals, and light gray petals. And what this does is it basically turns coal into mana, which is the resource of Batania. Uh, so to get started with this, what we're going to want to do is similar to what we did a minute ago. We're going to want some brown, some red, and some light gray. Okay. And what I'm going to do is put away this mystical flower potato. And I got a new book in my inventory that I'm purposely not showing you guys just yet, but we'll get there. We updated the mod pack. Oh good, just in time. Sweet. Yeah, there's a new version of the Dial 20 mod pack. It's currently 1.3.1 .1 is what I'm playing on. And uh, there's some new mods in there. I'm just saying a couple new mods, actually. A couple nifty new mods. Uh, so what we want to do now is plant these three petals. Okay. Now, in fairness, is it the brown one we need twice as many of? So maybe I should do twice as many browns, right? Because isn't this guy, he needs two browns, right? Yeah, like I said, if you can pay attention to the bounding boxes, then you'll kind of know where things lie out. Or just count. Sweet. And then my shears. Excellent. And then we've got a bunch of tall red, brown, and gray, which will yield the right ratio of stuff for me. Beautiful. Okay. And then what I find can be a little bit useful. Yes, I'm breaking dirt with a pickaxe. It's what Dyer does. I'm gonna have this empty. So one, one, two, one. 
and then click, okay? So what I want now is this, this, click, drop. This, this, click, drop. This, this, click, drop. Be right back. So I got about a dozen of these things, which I think, you know, should be enough. All right, now let's start producing mana. So it's really simple. All we need to do is get down some endo flames. And again, I'm just putting this temporarily here. Okay, and you want to connect them up to mana spreaders. Now the trick is when you place the mana spreader in the world, it'll automatically connect the end of flames that are nearby to it. Uh, however, we can use a very fancy and nifty tool that will help us, you know, do cool stuff. Let's get one of you and one of you. And I'm gonna need a couple. Oh, not you. Is it? Is it? Is this the recipe now? Oh. Uh, living wood twigs. Oh, they're sideways now? Look at you being all fancy. And then this, and then that, and then you get a wand of the forest. Hooray! Uh, so with this guy, when we mouse over the, uh, the endo flames, we'll see whether or not they have a connection to a mana spreader. They do not. See how there's an X? So if we break and replace this, and now look at it, see how it's checked and the mana spreader is highlighted? You can also uh, shift right click on these guys to bind them. And what you'll see is you'll highlight the endo flame, you'll bind it to the spreader, and then a little particle effect indicates that you've connected it. How great is that? So two options, you can either just break and replace them all or bind them manually. It's up to you. Uh, I find generally break and replace them all is probably a little bit easier. Cool, now these guys will uh, you know, connect to and send the mana they produce into the spreader. Now what we need is some fuel. So that's also easy. What we're gonna do is get some coal and just drop it nearby. And if you drop coal on the ground, one of these mana or one of these flowers will absorb it. You can see this one, he's got the little flame on him. Uh, and if you right click on the endo flame, you'll see it's bound to the to the mana spreader. And the mana spreader starts to fill up with mana from the endo flame. And then once it has enough mana, it'll shoot a burst of mana out. And when that burst of mana collides with the mana pool, he's gonna store mana. So now if I dropped all these guys in the world, that would be cool. All right. That would be cool. And now you can see we're getting lots of mana. See how it's obviously filling up a lot quicker now? Now that coal won't last forever in those in those endo flames. So, you know, but it'll get me a little bit of mana in my pool. And then we're, you know, one step closer to having the toys that we want. Because you know Dyer and his toys. Dyer likes toys. It's known. Uh, so now, next step, I'd like the Horn of the Wild, please. So to get that, we need pasture seeds. We're gonna need some tall grass. We're gonna need to drop it into a mana pool that has a little bit of mana in it, and it'll turn into pasture seeds. So, boom, boom, boom. Let's do this. Let's get you into leap mode. Ta-da! And then you guys can suck up more of that. Now do be aware that these guys will eat any burnable material, including wood and grass and other things. So uh, be careful when you drop it, because it's definitely possible that dropping this uh, will cause an end of flame to eat it if you're too close. <gasps> Hooray, pasture seeds. Nice. And now I can get myself the Horn of the Wild. Definitely one of my favorite items. Because I don't know of any other item in this game, in any mod, that lets you do this. Let me tell you how annoying it is. So, so Dyer doesn't like tall grass. I don't know if I've talked about it yet in this series, but I've talked about it before. Tall grass and me ain't friends. I'm not a big fan. I, I think it looks messy. I think it looks sloppy. I get that it's, you know, ambient or whatever. I just feel like it looks messy. So I don't like it existing. And you know what else I don't like? All these flowers all over the place. They're annoying to me. Go away, flowers. Not a fan. So the, the Horn of the Wild does an amazing job of just getting rid of it. And all it, all it clears, well, it also clears crops. So be careful with that. <laughs> it also clears, clears crops out. So just be a little careful. Uh, yeah, it's fine though. It's fine. We're fine here. I'm just gonna trash some of these junky seeds that I don't need. And then we can clean up this mess. So basically anything that's a crop or a plant will get hosed. It's all good. It's all good. We're fine. We're fine here. 
Oh, it got rid of my this thing too. But you know what? I, you get the idea. Let me put away some junk and clean up this mess, and we'll be right back. All right. So now we should have a bit more mana in this pool. Yeah, a little bit. Not bad. Cool. Cool. Let's do this. Put this away. Gonna clean this stuff up. Now we've got uh, the Horn of the Wild is good. The next thing I want is gonna be the Ring of Magnetization and the Sojourner's Sash. So I think I can make the ring. Am I correct about that? Yes, I just need some iron, some gold. Boy, are we low on iron. I need to mine. Holy cow, do I need to mine. Whew. Some serious mining needs. Is it five-ish? Oh, I need more iron than that. All right, looks like somebody's going mining. Uh. Mm -hmm. You and you. Be right back. All right, so I got a little bit more iron. I'll call that a win. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. So I think I needed nine-ish? magnet? I think that sounds about right. Let me get some more coal cooking too. Are we allowed? Really? We're out of coal, of all things? My goodness. I really need to do mining more. I have not been mining. I have not been mining. I might even hang on to this coal. This is why we need a tree farm, y'all. I would like all the things tree farmy. Um, so let's, yeah, boy, that's a mess. I am low on iron and coal. <laughs> that's just terrible. Uh, but anyway, magnet time, let's make it up. Uh, so I'm gonna need one of these, and then I'm gonna need one of these. So just give me one piece of gold. That's your magnetizing lens, and then we attach it to a ring, and then we equip that ring in our bobble slot, and hooray! So here's what's cool about the ring of magnetization. Check this out. Hooray! How great is that, huh? All the magneting. Uh, magnets are the best. I mean, there's, there's lots of mods that add magnets, so this was absolutely not on the list of things that you can't get in other mods. But the thing that you that is on the list of things you can't get in other mods is the Horn of the Wild, and then also the Sojourner Sash, which we're gonna look at making now. Before we can do that, though, we're going to need a Runic Altar, which is gonna need a diamond. And we're gonna convert that diamond into a Mana Diamond, which we can then use with some Living Rock, which, I thought I had Living Rock? That's right, I put it in this inventory because I was cleaning up messes that I made. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy put you away for a sec, but I know I'm gonna need, I, I'm not gonna put him away, because I know I'm gonna need him pretty urgently in a minute. Uh, what I can put away is just some other junk that we don't necessarily need. I really need to mine between episodes. That's, and I also have to sort out better storage. There's so much to do. So little time. So now runic altar, good. Okay, and the runic altar is a good time. We're also going to want another, um, Mana dispenser. Mana spreader, dude. So gold and a petal. Doesn't super matter what petal we go with. Okay. And this is the next crafting mechanic. And I'm going to place this right here. And by the way, if you, you know, align your mana spreaders the wrong direction, it's not a big deal. You can realign them like so. And they'll just point at whatever you want them to point out. Now, the runic altar here is going to... You can already see the mana spreader pulled some mana out of its pool that's adjacent to it. And then it'll shoot mana into the altar. The altar will need mana once it starts crafting. So the first thing we want to get is a rune of air and a rune of earth. Air is going to be string, feather, and carpet. Earth is going to be mushroom, coal, and stone. Okay. So string, feather, and carpet. String... Feather and carpet. Mushroom, stone, smooth stone, and coal. We have a mushroom, right? Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, and coal. Block of coal. It occurs to me I may not have enough coal. It occurs to me I may not have enough coal. Be right back. All right, we have coal once again. Huzzah! <laughs> it got dicey there for a second. Oh, and I picked up some copper while I was down there, too. Uh, so yeah, let's get a nice block of coal here. That should be good. 
And then let's put you guys away, because holy cow, do I have a lot of junk that I need to organize. Definitely need to mine between episodes, though. All right, so we said uh, a block of coal, uh, a stone, and a mushroom is how we get the Rune of Earth, right? And then we're going to need a mana steel and a mana powder, which, by the way, is a little bit of redstone or gunpowder, but I find redstone is the better one because usually that's less rare. So, boop. And then he'll start cooking. Now, you're going to need your wand at the ready. Because once he gets enough mana, you drop a living rock on there and right click, and you get your rune. Nice. All right, now we're going to need the string, the feather, and the carpet, and another one of these and these, and then another one of these and these, and hopefully we have enough mana for that. Sweet. You know, I know Batan has been around for a while, but you really have to admit, it's such an awesome mod. There's so much content in it. I'm not even scratching the surface of what you can do with Batania. Um, and it's just fun. Like, it's just it's just a fun mod to play. There's so much. And you can automate everything in Batania with just vanilla or Batania. There's, there's nothing that requires an outside. Like, you can obviously automate with external uh, mods if you want. But if you chose to challenge yourself, you could do everything in Batania with just Batania. And we've got a Sojourner Sash, which, by the way, also goes into a bobble slot. I think if I right-click it, it'll pop its way in there. Yep, hooray! And that is cool beans. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my legs. And I want to see, is my Sojourner Sash still pretty good? I wish there was a way to, like, see how fast you're running. Because I don't love that the legs mess with your, with your field of view a little bit. Now, I think the Sojourner Sash also needs a little bit of mana to really kind of let you run faster. So what I'm going to do is make a quick mana tablet. Uh, and to do that, we're going to get mana. And we're going to get a tablet. Okay. And then if you drop, if you look at the pool with a wand, you can see it goes tablet going into the pool. That's not what we want. So shift right click. And now it's pool filling up the tablet. Just drop your tablet on top, and he'll drain all the mana out of the pool, and it'll get stored in the tablet. Nice. And you'll notice on your experience bar now, there's a little blue line. It's very hard to see because it's such a small blue line. But if we absorb some of that experience, it might be a little easier to see. See it right down there? That's your mana bar. That's how much mana you have left in your tablet. So now, if I start running, does that seem faster? It also gives you uphill step assist, so I no longer have to jump to go up one block, which is awesome. Um, now, if I remove my, my legs here, are we still moving pretty at a pretty good pace? I feel like we are. I feel like we are, because I would like to, if I may, remove my... So, like, this is normal, right? It's definitely faster, but I feel like my legs were faster than that, even. Yeah, combined, they're great. It just bugs me that there's the field of view modifier that happens with my traveler's pants. Um, I like both. I ain't gonna lie. I do kind of like both. Uh, but this, but the, but the sash may be enough on its own. I might hang on to these for when like I really need to travel a lot. But you know, the Sojourner sash gives you a nice little jump boost as well as the uphill step assist. And the faster run speed, so I feel like it's pretty good in, in tandem. And don't forget, uh, not that, we also have this mode. Which, I feel like at this point now, I can get the mage leggings, right? Like, I never made mage leggings, but I could. What I could do is put you guys where you belong and get some mage leggings from Ars Magica. Uh, so all I need is a little bit more blaze powder and mage bloom stuff. I don't know how much blaze powder I need, but I don't think it's a lot. Because we get... So we need four blaze powder. Is my math correct on that? Perfect. And then a little bit of mage bloom, which might be in here. And then... 
Let's open up our backpack. Let's tell you to remember this slot. Now I have a full set of mage gear equipped, and that's kind of cool. And that's just going to give me that much more mana and that much more mana regen. And I feel like that's that's good enough for getting around. Like, if I want to go somewhere quickly, I feel like the Sojourner Sash is enough of a, of a run speed boost that I'm cool with that. Yeah, I think this overall works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put away some of this stuff. I'm going to put away this thing. Uh, I'm going to keep you in my backpack. And you know, I might even remember this slot. Boom. Right? Um, just so I have it, you know, ready in case I want it again. And I can always equip it if I'm like, hey, I'm moving around too slow right now. I need I need that speed boost for a little bit. Um, so hey, that looks good. So now let's talk about next steps because I've got all the toys that I wanted to get uh, from Batania are now complete. There's a ton more content in Batania. If you've never seen Batania, there's literally a hundred times more stuff in there. Like, there's just a ton of it. And we will be checking it out as we go through the series. Um, I just wanted to make sure in this episode we quickly got all the cool stuff. Now, let's quickly talk about the mod pack update. Because, you know, that happened too today. Um, and I want to talk about what's in it. So first off, there's a new mod. Hex casting. Uh, hex casting looks pretty cool. Now, um, this mod, what I'm told, is loosely or maybe even strongly based on Psy, if you guys remember the Psy mod. Um, and it's apparently pretty powerful, and it's apparently you, you can get a ton of cool stuff. Uh, so I don't know exactly, you know, what all is involved in hex casting, but I want to try it out at some point because I heard it's a really powerful and cool mod. Cool? Um, in addition to that, there's some other cool stuff we got. There's another mod called Elemental Craft, which... I don't know a lot about, I'm going to be honest with you, but I think the FTB team messaged me and said, hey, does this mod look cool? And I'm like, yeah, I guess, I don't know. So I have no idea what it's about. I have no idea what's involved, but it looks neat and we're going to check it out. Um, it does have a patchouli book if you're interested. We will check that out at some point in the future too. I don't know when, but we'll figure it out. Um, and, and I think those are the two main ones that we added. There's a couple of library type mods that I see in there. But the two main mods that we added are hex casting and Elemental Craft. So very excited to check out those two mods. I don't know if that's what we're going to do next. Like I said, the next main task I'd like to do is look at a tree farm automation. And then we need to get into more mining. So I'm going to mine between episodes so that I have some resources. So let me get that kind of ready. Uh, let's make sure we've got you and you and you. And that should be good. Uh, you can go away because I'm not doing combat right now. And the rest of this stuff looks all pretty good to me. I probably don't need my flower pouch either. We're done with him for a little bit. For now, though, twenty signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to start with Create. For now, take it easy.